Okay, here we go. Come look at the freaks. Take one. exciting day because we're recording the cast album of Sideshow. We're, we're here at Avatar Studios and you might be able to hear the the drum next to me. I don't know if that's being picked up. There's all these different little booths and boxes and rooms that people are hid away in and if you don't know where they are you can look at a monitor and hopefully see somebody that you know. It's a, a big spaceship. There's all these different pockets and people in different rooms and recording over here, but then the orchestra's over here. It's been 17 years long, and we're happy to do the cast album recording. It's very exciting, and there is lots of madness uh, going down, tapping and singing, and people in different studios, and it all comes together. Avatar Studios, where we're recording the album, is pretty well-renowned. Most cast albums are done in one of two studios, and we're in probably the best studio in the city, so it's pretty exciting. Hey, it's, I'm having a theater geek moment. It's one because I'm, I'm, Henry's right there, I get to hug him, and, and we get to talk about the music, and then I get to sing it, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully do it justice. It's amazing. It's, 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 uh, it is absolutely a career and life highlight. Our brilliant music director, Mr. Sam Davis, is at the baton at the podium. Our great producer of the record is Frank Filippetti. Our director, Bill Condon, is here. My writing partner, Bill Russell, is here. And we're all doing our bit to make this a memorable, memorable album. But you persisted anyway And now it seems you're here to stay Dad's product has made one Where there were two And now I'm Stuck with you Oh yes, I'm stuck with you Stop, stop, stop. Okay, start so. again. What are we doing here? Aaron, what are we doing here? We're recording the cast album. We're recording album. the cast album. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's great. Good. It's good. It's a lot of music. It is a lot of music. So. Emily and Aaron, who play Daisy and Violet, they sing in every song in the show except one. I don't know of any shows that I've recorded in the last 15 or 20 years where the two major stars literally sing 90% of the show. So it's a very difficult job. They've been doing amazingly well. Terry, what am I about something like this? Only wants what is best for us both. But he loves us, loves us for who we are, cared for us both from the start. Terry would tear us apart. Terry loves me, wants me all to himself. The way you want money, we all could be happy at last. We play Conjoined Twins. Conjoined Twins. Um, the show's about Conjoined Twins. Mm -hmm. It's a coming of age story, really. It's about two young girls who start off in a small sideshow tent and they are discovered and taken to larger stages and become famous. And they find love and loss in that time period. How's that? In a nutshell, I think yeah. that was really good. <laughs> yeah. Sideshow is based on the true story of Daisy and Violet Hilton, who were conjoined twins who were the highest paid act in the history of vaudeville. Who's that guy I see on every front page? Looks like he's beaming with pride. 
All too soon he'll take his place on a stage, posing right next to his bride. Buddy is a cool, complex character. You meet sort of a kind of a confused, neurotic Buddy in the beginning, and then as the play sort of unfolds, you get to see a lot of very complex layers. Terry Connor is sort of uh, down on his luck, and um, he stumbles upon this freak show where he sees these two girls that he thinks is quite talented, that they just so happen to be conjoined. Daisy, I can feel that you want to share life with me. Have this tangled knot be untied. Now it's up to you to get Violet to agree. You should be free from her side. First thing you need to know about Sideshow is that there's this character named Jake. Have a microphone in front of you, but your body still has to be in it. Sometimes it takes a couple of takes, but we keep at it. The idea is to have something that will last uh, forever, hopefully. The same energy comes straight through into that into that microphone, and you get it in your in your uh, car or in your stereos at home. Taking the enormous experience that sideshow is and compressing it, distilling it into a cast album. It's dynamite experience that will explode into the headphones of whoever's listening to it, you know, into your earbuds or, you know what I mean? I just can't believe that we're actually doing this and it's actually coming off so well. I have got it all planned. Come see a new land. Getting the chance to re-examine this, re-explore this, especially with somebody like Bill, uh, has been an absolute joyride. The book is is almost all new, you know, and the score, it's a combination of new songs that Henry and Bill have written with songs that have kind of, were there right from the beginning. Some of these songs are over 20 years old that had never been heard in the original production. Their vision and passion to work together to really reform this musical and bring it back in a bigger, bolder way than it was 17 years ago. Who will love me as I am? I will never leave you. Then you have the intimate small song, the new Houdini song. There is a big mix in this score, which also I think adds a lot of um, levels to the music, which is pretty beautiful. When you say revival, that's accurate to a degree. It's really a recharge and it's a chance to take another look at something. We feel very much, in a way, connected to the original production, just like we're conjoined with it. I think of these shows, these two shows, as siblings, sister shows. We was able to touch people all across the world, and so hopefully this cast album will touch you know, millions of other people. I think anybody who uh, is fans of the original will be very excited about all the changes in the new songs. We have about nine new songs. But some of them we wrote uh, in very early drafts of the show. And there actually was a title song called Sideshow that Henry Krieger wrote that was has never been heard before that we're going to be adding onto the cast album. And not only that, Henry himself is going to be playing the piano very simply, because it's never been orchestrated, with our two lead girls, Aaron and Emily, singing it. And we're really excited about it. I've spent a lifetime beside you. Have we now reached a divide? I don't want to stay. I'll take my turn someday. Oh. It's hard as an author to say what a show means. I hate to limit uh, interpretations of it, but the themes of connection and difference are pretty prominent. It's really rich thematically. It's definitely a show of acceptance. It's a beautiful story, not only about these two remarkable women, but 
also about acceptance and finding love, and that's pretty universal. Everyone has felt like an outsider at some point in their life. Everyone has felt ostracized. Everyone has felt different. There's always something about us that we felt we did not belong to, you know, the cool kids. It's about loving and accepting everybody for exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. and that everybody's deserving of love, no matter where they are or where they've been. You know, we've all got something that you either don't like about yourself or, you know, you got your things in your past that you're shy about or that you just don't like. A show like this is, can only help you go, oh, it's not so bad, you know? The zeitgeist is different now. The politics are different. The world situation is different. Things that would repel people in 1997 kind of attract them more now. And I think it's a continuum of change. I don't think that we've come to the station and that's the last stop. I think that we're still on the train. It's moving. But we're part of that. Great song that ends the first act, Who Will Love Me As I Am. I think that's the thing that's so relatable about this show. Because everybody at some point in their lives feels that, asks themselves that question. Who will love me as I am, which is the central question uh, in this whole show. But that particular song, uh, I'm happy to say, touches a lot of people and I'm, I'm very gratified that it does. Who could proudly stand beside